Sometimes it feels cold and you feel all alone. But hold on, better days are coming. We give you love.
coming. Yes. And you know what was so amazing about this day? I was in my office and I was talking to Del Deborah. And I talked to uh, Del Tim. And I said, God gave me all of that and then he erased everything. And God wanted, he knew, he knew that this moment was going to come. Yes, indeed. Yes. And, and, and I happened to look on, in my file, and all of a sudden I saw this book. And this book has been sitting on my desk for years. It's, it's been there so long that the paper has turned brown. It's been there just that long. Yes. And God said, get the book. Open it up. And I opened it up. Guess what it said? You'll get through this. Amen. You'll get through this. Amen. And God wanted somebody to know that that what you're going through is tough, but you're going to get through. through this. And he said, read it. It says, you'll get through this. You fear you won't. We all do. We fear that the depression will never lift. The yelling will never stop. The pain will never leave. Here in the pits, surrounded by steep walls and angry brothers, yes. we wonder, will this gray sky ever brighten? Yeah. Yeah. This low ever lighten? Yes. Yes. We feel stuck, trapped, yes. locked in, mm. predestined yes. for faith. Will we ever exit this pit? Mm. And God said, yes. Yes, yes. Deliverance is to the Bible yes. what jazz music is to Mardi Gras. <laughs> Bold, brassy, mm. and everywhere. Deliverance, Deliverance. is everywhere. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Out of the line then for Daniel. The prison for Peter. The, the, the well's belly for Jonah. Goliath's shadow for David. The storm for the disciples. Disease for the leper. Doubt for Thomas. The grave for Lazarus. The shackles for Paul. God gets us through stuff. Yes. Through the Red Sea. Yes. Unto dry land. Yeah. Through the wilderness, yes. through the valleys of the shadow of death, through the deep sea, through the, it says that through is a favorite word for God. Mm. When you pass through the waters, oh, I will be with you. Yeah. Through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, mm. nor shall the flame scorch you. Listen to what he's saying. Now this is, I know it has been in my desk for over 10 years. <laughs> Listen to what he's saying. It won't be painless. Have you wept your final tear? Or receive your last round of chemotherapy? Not necessarily. Yes, yes. Will your unhappy marriage become happy in a heartbeat? Not likely. Are you exempt from any trip to the cemetery? Not a guarantee. Does God guarantee the absence of struggle and the abundance of strength? Not in this life. But he does pledge yes. to reweave your pain yes. 
for a high purpose. Yeah. Oh, yes. It won't be quick. Jesus was, uh, Joseph was 17 years old uh -huh. when his brother abandoned him. He was at least 37 when he saw them again. Another couple of years passed before he saw his father. Sometimes, listen to this, God takes his time. <laughs> 120 years to prepare Noah Come on. for the flood. 80 years to prepare Moses for his work. God called young David to be king, but returned him to the sheep pasture. He called Paul to be an apostle and then isolated him in Arabia for perhaps three years. Jesus was on earth three decades before he built Anything more than a kitchen table. Mm. How long will God take you? Will take with you? He may take his time. He, his history is redeemed not in minutes, but in lifetimes. <laughs> glory to God. Glory, glory. But God will use your mess for good. We see a perfect mess. Yes. God sees a perfect chance to train, test, yes. and teach you. Glory to God. Amen. We see a prison. God sees a flesh. <laughs> we see famine. God sees the location of a chosen lineage. We call it Egypt. God calls it protective custody. Mm. <laughs> Where the sons of Jacob can escape barbaric Canaan and multiply abundantly in peace. Yes. We see Satan's tricks and ploys. God sees Satan tripped and fallen. Mm. Let me be clear. You are a burden of Joseph in your generation. You represent a challenge to Satan's plan. You carry something of God within you, something noble and holy, something the world needs, wisdom, kindness, mercy, skill. If Satan can neutralize you, he can mute your influence. The story of Joseph is in the Bible for a reason. To teach you to trust God. To trump evil. What Satan intends for evil, God the master weaver, the master builder, redeems for good. Joseph would be the first to tell you that in the, the pit stinks. Yet for all its rottenness, doesn't the pit do this much? Mm. The forces you look to, you need to look upward. Someone from up there must come down here and give you a hand. Mm. God did it for Joseph at the right time, in the right way. He would do the same for you. Mm. God saved this. Yes, for resurrection yes. Sunday. Yes. He says, he got up. Yes. Come on. You get up. Yes. Yes. He got up. Hallelujah. You get up. No matter what's going on in your life, God says, get up. Yes. Get up from that situation. I have paid the way. Now something just <laughs> popped in my spirit when he told me. He says that when he said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He said that was the first time that he called daddy God. Mm. He said that if 
Jesus has said, Daddy, Daddy, what have you forsaken me? He said, I don't know if I would have come down to spare her. But, but, but Jesus knew that if he ever called Daddy, and, and that's like we do with our children. When they ever say, say, Dad, Dad, we don't do anything within our power to come to the rescue. So Jesus had to say, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? God is saying to you and me, he said, Jesus said, when you pray, you say, our oh, Father. Which I have another word. He said, because of what my son did, you can call me daddy. And when you call him daddy, yes, yes, daddy yes. got to come, got to, come. Amen. to your rescue. You ain't got to say, my God, you can say, daddy. Yeah. 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 I need help from you. Yeah. I need you to make a way out of no way. Yeah. Then he told me, he said, you know, when I, I had to swear, by myself, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, you. He said, I had to swear by myself. And he said, put me on the stand. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, put, me, put me to trial. And, and, and he said, do you swear that, that, that you're going to make a way out of no way? And I can't lie. And I'll say, I do. I, 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 do you swear that by your stripes yes. I'm here and he got his right hand raised and said, I do. Yes. Yes. If you say you call all things to work together for good to them that love you, to them that are called according to your purpose, do you swear? And God said, I do. Yes, yes. Jesus. I got the arm. Yeah. Hallelujah. The word. Yes. That's why I had to let my son hang on Calvary's cross. Yes. Because somebody mm -hmm. had to pay for it. Uh. Mm. Some, I, 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 can't let, I, I can't let it slide through the cracks. Somebody had to die yes. Mm. Yes. for all the sin in the world. And that's why I had to turn my back on my son because I can't look at it. And I can put all the anger with all, all the madness, everything that I had, I threw it against him. Yes. Because justice yes. had to prevail. Yes. God says, if anybody wants to neglect what I did, if anybody says I'm not real, you will stand before me. For yourself. Yes, yes. You have an opportunity to stand before God and say, God, I believe that your son died and rose again in three days. I believe that. And because you believe that, when you stand before me, yes. you will be found not guilty. All because of what my son did. Amen. My son had to die yes. for you. Thank you. And a lot of you are asking me, you don't love me. If you love me, you would allow all these things to happen to me. Mm -hmm. And God says, that's why I sent my son because I, 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 I knew all those things that were happening. I had to make a way to, to, to mend those things that people did to you, the wrong that they did to you. I, do it on my son. I paid for that. Do your son, my son. I paid for it. That's because I love you. I didn't let it go by. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. I didn't just lie by. And every one of us would say, Lord, do you love me? Mm -hmm. Lord, do you, if you love me, you wouldn't let this stuff happen to me. If you love me, you wouldn't allow rape to be in my house. If you love me, you wouldn't let that man beat me like he beat me. If you love me, you wouldn't allow people to treat me on the job like they were gossip. Yes. yes. That's why my son died. Mm. That's why he died. Yeah. Because I wanted to throw all of that sin, mm -hmm. sickness, past, present, and future. Yes. I put it 
it on my son. I put it on him just because I love you. And you can accept my love or you can reject it. Just like I had to do with Pharaoh. I had to treat him as a God. Do you want to be treated like a God? God will. You have free will to accept what he did at Calvary. You got will. God said that you would the number of parents, but if you choose to parent, it's up to you. Yeah. It's up to you. The same spirit. The same spirit that raised Jesus Christ, our Lord, from the dead, shall quicken, shall make alive your mortal body. And if Jesus got through it <laughs> with all the sin, with all of the mess of the world, past, present, and future, you talking about power? To get up from the grave with all power in his hand, with all that that was on him, the weight of the world, worlds on his shoulder, yes. and have the power to get up from there. Yes. And you say, I don't love you. Do you know how hard it was for God to turn his back on his son? Is there any other God? Is there any other God that would do that for you? Go to ask that. Some even worship the Son, S U N. And God has made the Son. And you're going to worship something that God made? Are you going to worship any other a religion or any other person other than God? He said, Thou to have no other God. Before me. But if you choose to believe that there are other gods, or if you choose to believe there is no God, you're going to have to stand before the real God for yourself. And, and you know, somebody said, you go to court and you represent yourself. <laughs> And it, and it says, when you represent yourself in court, you have a fool for an attorney. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be a fool. Now suppose everything that I say is the truth. I ain't lost nothing. If there is no God, I ain't lost nothing. But suppose what I said is true. Yes. Then you lost.
something in your own wisdom? Think about it. He said, think about it. How many times in your life have you made the wrong decision? Can you count it? And you're going to trust your life in you? God is saying, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yes. And lean not to your own understanding. I know sometimes this stuff don't make sense. <laughs> but in all your ways and knowledge of God, I don't understand it. I know you, you're here. I know you're going to work it out. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he's going to direct your path. He's going to guide. He's going to lead you. And it says the steps of a good man, a good one, a what? Ordered by the Lord. But when you stumble, not if you stumble, but when you stumble, you shall not be utterly what? Cast down. In other words, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to doubt every now and then. But that's why I had to send my son because the Lord couldn't take care. And I love you just that much to send my son to die for you. And because he lives, I can what? Face tomorrow. Because he lives. Oh, what? Fear. It's gone. Life's worth living. Anybody say, oh, get it. It, it, it ain't worth it. I'll give up. Mm -hmm. God said, life is better to live mm -hmm. because he lives. You can't get any better than that, y'all. Mm -hmm. Give your life to him. Yes. Give your heart to him. Yes. Lord, I don't understand. I have your doubt. I have doubt myself sometimes. I, I pass the chair for a moment. It's in dirt. <laughs> But then I have my doubts. Yes. Sometimes, but, 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 but in a little while, I always what? Come to myself because the Holy Spirit won't allow me to go but so far. That's it. Amen? Amen. 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 And when you accept him as Lord and say, you got so many benefits. Love, peace, your all through of the Spirit. It's all made available to you. Mm. Wow. I can stand before God when it's all over. You know, that's a scary thing to know that one day, mm. one day you got to stand before God. And you say, I need to believe. Uh, but you no, know, it's too late. Mm -hmm. Now you have an opportunity to say that you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus Christ our Lord from the dead and the word says you shall be saved Amen. ain't no ifs and what, 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 you know, but I did this and I, I, I did this and that he didn't say all that that's right yeah you messed up that's why he needed Amen. cause you messed up you jacked up you done a whole lot of things, and, 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 and that the, you're really a fool to say, well, I got to get my act together first. <laughs> if that's the case, hell bound that's good. you are because you can't get your act together. But give your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. And everything is going to be all right. Amen. This book, which has been sitting in my desk for what, no, 10 years. At least. 10 years. It says, there's somebody out there, you may not believe right now, but I set this day aside just for you. I stopped the sound mm -hmm. just for you. Mm -hmm. I, I, I made everything. If God loves you so much, he made time stop. I'm going to say this one thing. I'm going to sit 
sit down. My good friend, Richard Dunbar, we, we were back in about 85, or something, we were coaching baseball. And it started storming, raining after one of the games. We had to sit in the car. And all of a sudden, we started talking about salvation and this and the other and this. And, and, and he'll verify, verify, call him, check it, check it, call Rock. Check it out. And we sat in that car, and it was storming. And, and I wanted to go, uh, I heard from get to see the All Star game. It was the All Star game uh, going on at that particular time. But we couldn't get out of the car. And we got on the subject for salvation and all this stuff. And by the time, he accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The storm stopped. And when we got out of the car to go in the house, the game hadn't even started. God stopped time just for him. Because he loved him just that much. And God, if God stopped time for him, he'll do it for you. And I believe he stopped time today. For somebody else. Somebody. For somebody. Yes. If it's just for one person, yes. it's worth it all. Yes. Amen. 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 Mm. Amen. Glory. Mm. At this particular time, we're going to prepare for communion. Amen. As we continue to celebrate this Resurrection Sunday and we prepare our elements, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. We thank you for this Resurrection Sunday. God, we thank you for allowing us to just be here in your presence and just to feel your anointing all over us. God, we thank you for what we've heard. We thank you for your word, and we take it as food for our bodies, oh God. We ask right now that you would change these elements from its natural use to a spiritual use, and bless us in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Likewise, he took the cup, and he blessed it, and said, This is my blood that was shed for you. Let us drink together. After which they sung a hymn and went out into the month of August. Be blessed, family, and happy Resurrection Day. 